Ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking at the 2006 ML350. And this is also true for all of the other years going all the way up to 2015. The break wear visit workshop alert is on. That basically means I'm driving, so I need to keep an eye on the road. That basically means that your pads, your brake pads are low. Could be the front, could be the rear. And uh, if I reset it and press the brakes again, it comes right back on. Also, you may see this come on at start up when you put the key in the ignition and start the engine. So we're gonna take a look and see what's going on. Usually when that brake sensor uh, visit workshop comes on, it means that the brake sensor is now damaged as well. It's made to make contact when the brake pads are very low and it's a plastic piece in between two metal pieces. This is what the new piece looks like. And this is the sensor part that senses the lowness in the pad. And this is the electrical connection part. So we're going to be taking a look. We're going to replace the pad or the pads that are low. And we're going to also see if we need to replace this piece. So I took off both fronts of the vehicle and checked those uh, pads and they were fine. Sensor was fine. So I came back and checked the rear. And if you take a close look here, you'll see that the pads are pretty low to non-existent back here. So these pads are end of life. On the right side of the vehicle is the uh, wear pad sensor. Right here I'm going to be replacing this guy as well as the brake pad. Alright, so I'm going to be taking off the brake caliper and I'm going to be using a T, uh, T socket. And if you look at my other videos where I have um, done this same car before, there's a cap right here that protects those uh, sockets. There's two of them. One below. Just gonna reach in there and take it off. And then I'm gonna loosen up this caliper. I'm gonna push this bolt out, caliper pin. That's the first one. There's a second one that's down below where the socket won't reach because of the uh, chassis of the car. This won't fit. So we're gonna use this guy. This guy can fit in here. And the second one. Damn, let's go down. Now I'm gonna take off this retaining clip. This retaining clip is used to keep the piston cover in place. And I'll show you how to do that right now. Using a screwdriver, pop that off, and you put that in a safe place. Now, to get the caliper cover off, I like to just hit it a little bit like that, that loosens it up. We're looking at the brake wear sensor. Right here plugs into this electronic interface. It also plugs into the brake pad right here. And we're gonna start by unplugging it from the interface. This is already used, damaged, gone. 
as the wear sensor light came on. Typically you want to change it, change your brake pads before that happens. Then you unplug this. The electronics is in here and it's basically a metal protector right here like this that uh, conducts electricity into and closes the circuit causing the brake sensor visit uh, repair shop message to come on so we're gonna discard of this and put on a new one after we've put on the brake pads so now that everything's loosened up we're gonna now take this guy off slide it out of the way took off the That's the outer. Then the one on the caliper itself, you just take that off by wiggling it back and forth. Note how this one has the three prong interface that fits back inside there. So here are the new pads. This notch right here and the inner side one is where the new sensor is going to plug into. Back into the interface of the caliper. And just like how you took it out by going back and forth, just snap it in like that. The outer caliper just slides right in. Then once that's done, just take your time. It's going to be a little tight fit. And just slide it back into position, just like that. There should be no fighting with it. Then I like to put this back on before I bolt anything up. And that goes just like before. Pistons, uh, screws that we took out, these right here, we're gonna make sure that they go all the way back in. And we're gonna tighten those up. We will put on the sensor next. Now we're gonna use this to, just like before, to tighten the lower one. Once that's in place, we then take the caps and we put them back into the holes that Keep the salt out, sand, water, and rain. Here's a new sensor. I'm going to start by plugging in. I'm going to start off by putting this guy on. And you don't force it in, you just press it in. It should go in nicely. Once that's in place, you then Take the sensor and you press it into position. And you push this out of the way. So we've tightened everything up, put on the retaining brace, put on a new sensor, along with the new pads, of course. And the only thing left to do at this point is to put back on the wheel. So this brake job is done. You will do the same thing for the opposite side of the vehicle. Of course, there's no brake sensor. Wear sensor on that side. This is on the right side of the vehicle only. Once again, thanks for watching. Thumbs up the video if you like it. Send me any comments. And as always, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe today for the latest tips, videos, alerts, messages that I send out to all of my subscribers. Thanks.